Hey everybody, welcome to a special edition of the Costa Countdown to Blast Off. AnglersChannel.com, pro staffer Robbie Dye with us. It's Wednesday, Robbie. We just come up, came off the Bassmaster Classic this past weekend in Greenville on Lake Hartwell. Jordan Lee won it again, back to back. Tell us your reaction to that. That was so unbelievable. You know, I don't think uh, well, himself, he didn't think it was going to happen, but unreal you know uh hats off to him i mean god he's won uh, two classics being at his age uh you know he could be the next kvd in the sport you know well that's but, hard to do now oh yes but he he is he is quite the fisherman and uh you know he's been doing very well his whole career and uh i think he's going to continue to do well he's got the momentum and he's got the confidence, so uh, congratulations, Jordan Lee. And, you know, he said he caught a lot of his fish on a shaky head down there. You yes. can believe that on Hartwell, right? Yes, yeah, very possible, especially this time of year. The fish are, are you know, pulling up to spawn, and, uh, you know, uh, the shaky head works great this time of year. Well, I tell you what, congratulations to Jordan Lee, and yes. congratulations to the entire AnglersChannel.com team. We had yeah. five people down there for the entire tournament, Chris Brown, uh, Kenny, Vance, everybody just did an incredible job, so uh, yeah. we want to throw a shout-out to them. Let's let's backtrack to where you were this past weekend on Kerr Lake, which in the past has been one of the uh, heaviest fished lakes in the southeast region. Uh, it struggled the last couple of years, but it seems like it's back. You had your best practice ever down there last week. What's happening? What's happening? You know, I struggled in the tournament. Uh, you know, the, we had some real, very windy conditions during practice, and it helped my bite. But uh, there are only six limits weighed in in that tournament that this past weekend. But the water temperature is in the 40s up there. Oh, wow. That's cold. And, and, but all the fish are full of eggs. They're trying to pull up. Uh, the next warm spell, you need to get at Kerr Lake. Uh, there's some unbelievable fish in that place right now. It's come back from the bass, bass virus. You're going to see some 25-pound bags up there. Really? This year. Okay. And uh, it's it's unreal at the amount of fish and the size of fish that's in that lake. Wow, that's outstanding. But, now, with that being said, you had a great practice, not a great tournament. You got another tournament, BFL, coming up on uh, Murray this weekend. Yes. How do you expect Murray to fish? It's, you know, the fish are probably not, they're going to try to be on the bed pretty much like Hartwell, uh, but the water temperature is probably going to, you know, keep them backed off just a little bit. You're going to see some cruising fish, shaky head, maybe a little top water if, it, you know, possibly a buzz bait. Uh, but uh, it's going to take 25 or 30 pounds to win that tournament. That was my next for, question. For sure. No question, uh, 25 or 30. It, it, Murray's a great lake, and it's got some huge fish in it. They're going to be just just from crashing the bank, and it's going to be an exciting tournament. They also got a BFL at Smith Mountain this weekend, and those guys are probably going to crush them on an A-Rig. So I would definitely, if I was going to Smith Mountain, have an A-Rig. Why mind. is the A-Rig so popular on Smith Mountain? You know, those fish up there, the cold water don't bother them as bad as other lakes because it stays colder longer year-round. So they have to feed, you know. But uh, it's clear and it's deep, and, you know, those fish, they just like it. These lakes around here, I mean, the A-Rig still works, but it has been saturated with them. These fish are educated on the A-Rig. Yeah. So they'll still bite it, but not as good. All right, now here's something that I didn't talk to you about before we started the interview today. Chickamauga, the oh, yeah. Chattanooga Bass Association had a I tournament up there. I've seen that. The winning weight was 42 pounds. I don't know that I've ever heard of a weight that big, Robbie. Yeah, you know, not unless you're at Santee or maybe Gunnersville, but that is – I've seen that stringer, and that was a – monster bag that's the lake i want to go back to like maybe 42 next, next pounds week. yeah that's that's huge but uh could have been a rig fish but definitely swim bait fish some kind of swim bait well and don't forget there's a sportsman's warehouse right there in uh, in uh, chattanooga as well uh you know one thing we went by the sportsman's booth robbie at the bassmaster classic they're opening up a store in anderson That'd this be nice. summer be nice. and we were talking to craig baird and the entire sportsman's team from columbia what a great location to put a new store. Anderson's right on Lake Hartwell. It's next to Kiwi, Russell, Joe yes. Cassie. I mean, and that that is a small, big town, if you know what I mean. Oh, yes. I mean, they got great fishing. 
a, a, a huge population to pull from, uh, you know, in Sportsman Warehouse, they've got, you know, all the necessity to carry a lot of local stuff. Oh, so yeah. So it's, it's going to be a great deal. Yeah, that's going to be a great store. And, hey, congratulations again to Jordan Lee, your 2018 Bassmaster Classic. Uh, best of luck to you on Lake Murray this Thank weekend. You. Thank you. Robbie, maybe I'm missing something so far this year, but the weights seem really, really good. It, and it's due to our colder weather, uh, John. The fish are staging, uh, and, you know, they're, it may be a little easier to pattern when we have this colder weather. As we get this warming trend, the fish kind of work in cycles. They kind of step their way up to the bank, and they're just before crashing the bank all throughout the southeast. You're going to see the weights you know, continue to be great here for the next coming month. Wow. Looking forward to it, buddy. Good seeing you. Folks, we'll see you next week.